Oh, why did I disappear? So for those of you who don't know, I started the channel two, three years ago, and I posted about 50 reactions to UK underground hip hop. I stopped doing reactions. It was in the middle of COVID, and um, I did a bunch of meditation, exercise. I was living in the, the city that I grew up in. I, I hit a point where I was living a few blocks from where I grew up, and I felt like I was stuck in a rut. Um, I literally gave away all my sound equipment, my computer. I had two of these mics, two or three different cameras. I had been on like a good amount of psychiat psychiatric medication probably since I was like 13, 14. I had slowly started getting off all that stuff, and the final two meds I was on started getting off those. And then something switched in my brain. I wasn't going to see a psychiatrist. I started getting off these meds. I got off the meds, and about a month, after I had gotten off the last one, I was doing these crazy workout regimens. I was really into like health and nutrition at that point. I needed something more in my life. It's like I was coming out of a stupor, a zombified stupor. I decided to essentially just be like, you know what? I'm done. Um, I, I gotta leave. I gotta do something. So I literally gave all my stuff away. I went on this kind of like spiritual journey. You know, I, I was overcoming some traumatic stuff that had came back to me. But essentially, I got, got rid of all my stuff. I bought a plane ticket to go down to North Carolina, work on a farm. I called the guy, you know, we, we talked a little bit before I went down there and I'm like, I want to work for my food and I just want to dig holes. It's how I'm healing from this, that, and the third. It's like, okay, well, we got holes to dig. So I went down there, worked on that farm for about a month, met some, some people on that farm, traveled out west, and, and long story short, I landed in Colorado. When I left to go to North Carolina, I had $500 in a checking account. By the time I left the North Carolina farm, I had like a hundred bucks. So I went out, out west. I landed in Colorado. When I first got to Colorado, I was camping out with a backpacking tent. I got here in August. And so I was I was backpacking and, and camping out and working at this grocery store. And I did that for about a month. I couch surfed a little bit. I stayed at a homeless shelter for about, I don't know, two months or something. I worked my ass off. It started to get cold. So long story short, I went on like a spiritual journey. I was gone for two years because I started the channel, dropped about 50 videos, and that was around the time that I was starting to get off those meds. At one point, I was I was on uh, five or six psych meds, including antipsychotics. Yeah, I don't, like, looking back, guys, do not cold turkey psych meds. Don't, don't rush yourself getting off those things. Consult a professional. Seriously, don't do what I did. Because looking back, I mean holy shit i mean i i gave away all my stuff computer monitors cameras the microphones all the mattress i gave away my ramen that i had stocked up for covid um i gave it all away went to work on a farm for no pay work for a stay i had to take that spiritual journey if you will um because i i wouldn't have the same foundation to do this channel now um if i wouldn't have taken that journey invaluable things i learned in that time i disappeared I got a flip phone during that time. I, I just, I got, I was done. Done with the technology, done with, with the, the noise. I needed to go, like narrow my world so I could focus on what I needed to do and, and overcome a lot of the demons that were coming up. I, I don't regret it. I would do things differently with the knowledge I have now, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. I mean, sometimes you got to take a risk. I'm not saying like do what I did, but I'm okay. I'm doing fine. I live in an apartment now. I, I, I went from being homeless two years ago to homeless like a year, a year and a half ago. I mean, shoot, I just got this apartment three months ago. Um, and until then, I was jumping around. I was, hey, do you have a spare room? I can throw you cash. You know, I'm a hardworking person just trying to trying to figure things out. 